Fern is a popular documentary channel that are generating millions of views every month. Their videos consist of engaging animations that follow a story, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create one of them. We're going to cover this video, and more specifically, we're going to cover this animation. West, but according to Professor Frank, also a Japanese, Chinese, and above all, South Koreans. Now, these animations work as a filler in the story. They explain difficult concepts and ideas that cannot be explained using traditional footage. This style that we are going to cover is present in many of their videos, and if you stick to the end, you will learn how to create one for yourself. We will be using Adobe After Effects for animations and Envato Elements for finding assets that we will use in those animations. Links will be in the description. Inside Adobe After Effects, I have imported all the elements that I'll be using throughout this video, and here I'm going to create a new composition by clicking here and I'm going to rename my composition to Fern and set width to 1920 pixel and height to 1080 pixel. As an industry standard, I'm going to set my composition to 24 frames per second and duration to 7 seconds and click OK. Now, first, I'm going to import my background and slightly adjust scale like this maybe. Again, all the elements that I'll be using in this video can be found in the description. Next, I'm going to import all these flags and organize them on our timeline and make sure that they're all still selected so you can adjust the scale size and let's organize them or maybe set them even smaller 15 and now you're going to organize them on the timeline so we have north korea here japan is about here european union and china so after you're finished with adjusting the position of these flags i'm going to draw lines so pay close attention to this so i'm going to change the stroke color to white and draw a straight line which will be our main line that goes to the south korea flag which is a final flag that will appear so let's rename this shape layer to main main line and then let's draw a second line that will go to United States. So let's decrease a bit to let's say four and let's draw two other lines that appear after the main one. So make sure that you select the first anchor point here that goes straight to the flag and make sure that you're holding shift. So you have this straight line and again, hold shift and create another anchor point. Make sure that you remove opacity for the fill color so this will be our USA line. Next, let's draw a line that goes to the European Union flag. So again, create an anchor point here, hold shift, create another anchor point, and again, hold shift and finish the line up. Now this will be European line, then uh, China and Japan appear. So here I'm going to draw a Japan flag. Again, hold shift and create another anchor point. This will be Japan, then China. And our main line goes to the South Korea, so we won't adjust that, but make sure that line does not go over the flags. So I'm going to move these flags like this. And now, after you draw these lines, I'm going to go here and create a new null object, which we'll rename to controller. Now. This controller will be uh, a null object, which we'll use to move our animation from the left side to the right side. So in order to create a functioning controller, I'm going to select all these layers and connect them to our controller. Now let's add effects. So I'm going to add a glow effect to all these flags and also lines in order to create a similar look. And then we're going to go over and animate the controller. So here in effects and presets type glow and drag it on your flag. So we're going to start from North Korea. I'm going to slightly increase glow radius. Let's set to 141 and increase glow intensity to 1.2. Let's copy this specific glow and paste it on each of these flags. And again, let's also apply it on these lines. But for our lines, we're going to decrease glow radius to, let's say, 13. And we're going to copy this one because the lines are a bit smaller and you need to decrease a glow radius. So you get this look right now. 
Now let's animate lines and finish off with animating controllers. So half second mark, I'm going to open mainline and here in add, select trim pads. And here in trim pads, select end. And then when you create a first end keyframe, go at 20 mark and here create another end keyframe and let's set it to 25% and at the beginning decrease it to 0%. Now, when this animation happens, we're going to animate a US line and the European line. So again, select these two, create a trim pads and here create a end keyframe and here also open trim pads and again, create an end keyframe and at a one and a half second mark or maybe less one and a eight, I'm going to create another set of keyframes and go back and decrease and to zero on both of these layers and also select these keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard in order to turn them into easy ease. So we have a smooth animation. Now, if this is too fast, let's move these keyframes to this mark here at one and a half second. And this will slightly slow down the trim pads. Let's also do that for the rest. So I'm going to copy these end keyframes at this point here we're going to copy this uh, keyframe here, paste it here. And at a two second mark, I'm going to increase my end trim pads to 47 and let's say comma five. So we even out with this line here, or maybe let's do six. It is here. And now at this point here, I'm going to copy these keyframes and open Japan and add trim pads create a uh, first and keyframe and press control V on windows. So you paste your keyframes like this. And also we're going to do that for China. And now at the three second mark, I'm going to go again over to my main line. So at a three second mark, I'm going to again create a end keyframe. So till this point we have still line animation and at a three and a half second mark, I'm going to end it off with 100% and trim pads. And so far you have this animation. So now after we made a line animation, we can animate the controller. So I'm going to create a position and scale keyframes. And at this point here, I'm going to create another set of keyframes. And here at the beginning keyframes, I'm going to zoom in Okay, let's maybe decrease scale. So we have a visible flags. And at this point here, I'm going to set position here and create a easy ease keyframes. And here copy and paste these last keyframes. And at this point here, I'm going to create a scale keyframe and also position. So we have to zoom in on our South Korea flag and select these keyframes and press toggle hold keyframe. And you also repeat uh, this for these keyframes. So you have that zoom in. Now we need to adjust uh, blinking opacity animation for the flag. So I'm going to go over to my European Union flag and open opacity and create opacity keyframe as a starting point. And until this point, we're going to create another keyframe and let's go back and decrease to 0%. Now, in order to create this blinking animation, I'm going to go over two frames forward and increase opacity to, let's say, 76%, and then two frames forward, decrease it to 25. And now copy and paste these two keyframes here. And until this point, we're going to increase to 100% and you will get this blinking appearing animation. Now I'm going to copy uh, these keyframes and at the same time, I'm going to apply it on USA flag. So open past the keyframe, create a starting keyframe and paste your recently copied keyframes. So you have now let's repeat this process for the rest of the flags. So at this point here, I'm going to add it to Japan flag. So again, 
open opacity, create a keyframe and paste it. And for the same time, I'm going to do it for the China flag. And we have this animation and let's say at this point, I'm going to do it for South Korea. And so far we have this animation. Now, after we're finished with all these animations, I'm going to copy every layer and pre-compose it to fake 3D effect. So enable 3D layer here, and I'm going to go to transform and add a X rotation like this and add a bit of scale and also move it. So you center it like this on X rotation. Also apply a slight Y rotation. So let's say at plus 4% and maybe decrease scale like this. So the flags are a bit more visible and this will create this tilt from the fern video or you can go in negative. So for example, minus four and I'm going to add a minus two degrees on Z rotation and this will add a fake 3D look to your animation. Next, I'm going to create an adjustment layer and add a bit of CC vignette in order to create a slight focus effect. So let's increase angle of view a bit and the mount and also add another adjustment layer and go here in effects and presets and type camera lens blur and apply it on adjustment layer. Now, as you can see, the blur is present on the whole frame so i'm going to go here and open ellipse tool and create sort of ellipse mask like this and check invert the checkbox and let's also adjust it so these anchor points are over here like this and in mask increase mask feather to let's say 74 per pixels in order to smoothen out the edges of the mask, so they're not that visible. And here you have it, a fern styled animation that you can create in After Effects for your videos. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful, and until the next time, bye.